Hello, I'm Dave Weidinger with the Missouri S&T Geotechnical Labs. Today we will be going over the laboratory procedures on performing an Atterberg limit test. These tests include the liquid limit and the plastic limit tests. They are used to classify the fine grain portion of a soil. The practical application of Atterberg limits in geotechnical engineering includes soil description, quantitative soil classification, and correlations to engineering properties such as shear strength. The Atterberg limits are index tests, and they are designed to give an idea or indicate how a soil will act under certain conditions. This short video will demonstrate how to conduct a liquid limit test and a plastic limit test in accordance with ASTM specifications. The soil that we will be performing the limits test with today is a low seal silt that comes from the Mississippi River Valley. This silt has been mechanically pulverized and then passed through a number 40 sieve to remove all large particles. For the purpose of today's lab experiment, bentonite clay has been added to increase the plasticity of the soil. The liquid limit is defined by the moisture content in which a soil begins to act less as a viscous fluid and more as a plastic putty like peanut butter. By convention, this is defined as the water content at which a groove cut into a soil pat in the Casa Grande apparatus requires 25 blows to close at a distance of 13 millimeters one half inch, the distance of this tool handle. We will need a few lab devices to help us with this. First, we will have the standard liquid limit device, also known as the Casa Grande apparatus. This will aid us in getting the blow counts. Next, we will need the grooving tool used to make a standardized groove in the soil pad. We will also need a couple moisture content cans for moisture content determination. We will need a water bottle so we can add moisture to our soil. We will need a mixing bowl, bowl to prepare our soil in, a spatula to mix our soil, a mortar and pestle to crum, crush the soil if need be. We will also need a scale to record the weights of each test. The plastic limit is defined as the moisture content at which a material begins to act less like a plastic putty and more like a brittle solid. In order to conduct the plastic limit test, the following will be required. We will need a glass plate to roll out our three millimeter threads on. We will need a rod that is three millimeters in diameter to gauge when we get down to three millimeters. We will need two cans to get moisture content in. And we will also need a spatula to spread and dry out our soil. The documents pertaining to today's lab can be found on Blackboard in PDF format. The documents include the lab handout, the ASTM standards, in the data sheets. In order to produce the flow curve, four liquid limit tests must be conducted. One test between the blow counts of 15 and 20, another between the blow counts of 20 and 25, a third between the blow counts of 25 and 30, and finally one between 30 and 35. As the soil dries out, the moisture content is reduced. This results in stiffer soil. To perform the liquid limit tests, weigh out about 300 grams of the provided soil. If the soil is clumpy, you can break it up in the mortar and pestle. Add water from the water bottle and mix the soil until it appears uniform and the surface looks creamy. A proper blending could take up to 20 minutes. Determine and record the weights of the four tear cans which will be used later in the test for moisture content determination. The Casa Grande apparatus is easily knocked out of calibration, so it is important to calibrate the device often. The grooving tool has a block on the back of it that is exactly 10 millimeters tall, the fall height of the Casa Grande cup. Calibrate the apparatus by placing the grooving tool underneath the cup. Rotate the handle so that the cam just contacts the cup. If the apparatus is calibrated, the cam will just barely touch the cup and it will not lift it off the grooving tool. Loosen the set screw on the top and adjust the thumb screw in the back to raise or lower the cup. Thoroughly clean and dry the cup. Evenly spread a moderate amount of soil into the cup to create a soil pat to be tested. Using the grooving tool, create a straight groove through the center of the soil pat. The shoulders of the grooving tool should just scrape the surface of the soil pat. If the shoulders do not contact the soil pat surface, 
Too little soil has been placed in the cup, and the test should be restarted. Once the groove has been made, rotate the handle at 120 revolutions per minute, two cycles per second, and count the number of blows it takes to close the groove in the soil pat 13 millimeters, or one half inch, which is the width of the grooving tool handle. If the number of blows falls between 15 and 20, scoop out some of the soil and place in one of the pre-weighed tear cans and record the new weight for moisture content determination. Place the can with the soil in the oven and re-weigh it again in 24 hours. If the number of blows falls below 15, mix the soil to dry it out, clean, dry the cup, and repeat the test. If the number of blows falls above 20, add moisture to the soil, mix it, clean and dry the cup, and retest. Repeat the procedure to get tests between 20 and 25, 25 and 30, and 30 and 35 blows. Plot the moisture content versus blow counts and determine the liquid limit from the flowchart. With the moisture content plotted in the vertical axis and the blow counts plotted in the horizontal axis in log scale, a linear regression can be established through the data and the liquid limit can be interpolated. The plastic limit is the average of the moisture content when the soil starts to crumble when it is being rolled into a three millimeter thread. So you take a 25 to 30 gram sample, spread it out on the plate to dry it out. When it gets to a workable state, you can pick it up and start working it in your hand. Start rolling the soil into a thread. Roll the soil until the diameter of the thread is reduced to three millimeters. The rod can be used as a gauge to determine when the soil has reached three millimeters in diameter. If the soil does not crumble when rolled down to three millimeters, further dry out the soil and try again. Once the soil crumbles at three millimeters, collect samples of the crumbling soil and place them in pre-weighed tear cans for moisture content determination. Repeat the test enough times so that enough soil has been obtained for two moisture content samples of approximately six grams each. Record the wet weights of the moisture content samples in place in the oven. Reweigh the samples again in 24 hours. The average of the two moisture contents is the plastic limit.